What's up everyone, it's Trevor, finally back with another video. I know it's been forever, but let me tell you, these past couple weeks have been pretty crazy. We've had a bunch of exams, multiple exams in every week, and so it's just been pretty stressful and I'm still getting used to just handling that much amount of information and staying on top of it, not getting behind. And even tomorrow, we have our first drilling practical. So we have to go in and drill two teeth. I think we have four hours, which sounds like a lot of time, and it is. But when you're trying to make everything perfect and you don't want to mess up and your hands are kind of shaking because you're nervous because it's for a grade that is that will heavily affect your overall grade in the class, you want to go slow and take your time. But I'm not making excuses. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to get many, um, get any videos out the past, I think, three weeks. So I'm sorry about that. But I want to go back, show you a couple things that happened over the past few weeks, and then try to get you guys into the flow of this week. It was a crazy week. I had three huge tests, and I will talk about it much later in the video, how they went. It was some good, some bad. I'll just tell you now. But right now, so it's Monday, and we have our first flag football game. Uh, we are the, our team is called the Mighty Molar Bears, so you already know we're going to bring it, um, but it's just, it's a co-ed team, so we got some girls and some guys uh, from the class, and we are about to go play in about half an hour, so I'll bring the camera, try to get some cool video of that, let you guys see some of my classmates and everything, but I'm excited to get back to vlogging this week. It's a much more relaxed week. We only have, we don't have anything really. Um, I mean, we're, we are constantly having lectures and a ton of information is building up, but it's much easier to stay on top of that and um, rather than having to study for a bunch of tests. So I will see you guys in a little bit on the playing field. Let's go! Let's go! It's already Thursday everyone and I don't know where the time goes. It just disappears. This is one of the very few weeks in the whole semester where we don't, we literally have no exams, no quizzes or nothing and I, it's already Thursday and I have no idea where Monday through Wednesday went but um, it's been kind of a crazy, crazy week. Um, we got our biochem grades back and I felt like I did so bad, and I actually did do really bad, but they put a huge curve on it, so everyone in the class did really well, which is awesome, um, and that took a bunch of stress off of me. And then another thing, um, today, this morning, we had a mock practical for drilling, so a real drilling practical is next Thursday, but we did an identical one this morning. We went in, drilled for, we had four hours to finish two different teeth, and it went really well. I think both of the teeth I did were the best teeth that I've ever done. So it was really, really awesome to know that <clears throat> somewhat I can handle the pressure and drill when um, when I am have that timetable and my hands are kind of shaking. So I'm really glad that I did well on that. It gives me a lot of confidence going into next week. Okay, so I just changed. I'm about to head into lab right now, and man, my nerves are already kicking in. So this, our lab course, all the drilling that we do and that we've done so far, this whole class for this semester is actually only worth one credit. And so if I stop and think about it, it's actually not even that big of a deal as far as GPA goes. But I mean, we're going to be drilling every single day as a dentist for hours during the week. And so I feel like it's just there's a lot of pressure to do well and um, everyone in the class is super supportive of each other so that I don't feel like it's not really a competition between any of us it's just kinda it's solely a competition with yourself I mean 
we all want to do really well and we know that this is such a huge part of um, your dental practice and even though the upperclassmen constantly tell us that don't worry about your hand skills you will get there everyone gets there uh, maybe at different points it might take me longer than someone else um, but you'll get there eventually it's just kind of hard now because you know you're you're <clears throat> I feel like my whole class is we are all used to having um, success in whatever we do and drilling is not something that comes easy and not something that comes right away so this first practical I think has us all a little bit nervous but um, tonight is the last time I can go practice so I'm gonna be in there for a couple hours drill two teeth a molar and a premolar and I will see you guys back here tonight. Just got back from drilling and it was a pretty long session in the lab. It is my, it was my last time in there before we take the practical. There was a ton of people in there. Basically my whole entire class was in there trying to get, um, get all their last minute adjustments in. And I spent three hours on one tooth and I know it shouldn't take me that long, but there was, I'm gonna explain this to you guys, I think probably later in this video, but there's something called clearing contact when you're trying to do a certain type of cavity prep. And basically you have to just keep edging, you have to take your drill and just shave off a little piece of the tooth and then go and check it and then use some instruments to shave it off. And then you go back, check it with your mirror. And if you haven't got a certain separation between the tooth right next to it, and the tooth you're working on, you have to go back, grab your drill, do that same thing, and just keep inching your way. Well, you're really dealing with point, like 0 0.01, 0 0.1 millimeters here. And so you have to be really precise. And if you overextend it, you get docked on your grade. And so I was really trying not to do that. Anyways, it took me way too long. It took, that part alone took me, I think, like an hour and a half, hour 45, and it should not take me that long, but I wanted to do as well as I could. And the tooth went all right, I think. Tomorrow I will definitely pass, which is a bonus, but um, how well I will do, who knows? Nerves are gonna be there, hands are gonna be kinda shaken, so I am just hoping for the best. I feel prepared, and we'll see how it goes. Good morning, everyone. It is about 6.30, pretty early. I woke up, uh, I woke up at 5.30, got showered, ate breakfast, took my time, got ready, everything's good to go. Gonna head into lab just a little bit early to warm up my hands, um, practice drilling, on um, one of the premolars, make sure everything's good to go, get all my burrs set out, and whew, scale one to 10 nerves are about a seven right now. I'm sure it's gonna jump up to an eight, maybe a nine right before the test starts, but once I start drilling and get into the groove, everything kind of slows down and it goes back to normal. But I'm pretty nervous, hopefully I do well, and I will see you guys later today. All right, first drilling practical is done, and I am so glad it is over. When I, I think it went pretty well. We won't know our scores until Monday. They have to grade all 110, um, well, really 240 teeth because, or let me do some math, 220 teeth because there's 110 of us and we each turned in two teeth. But um, yeah, so I think it went all right at first. I We started right at 7.30. I started, I warmed up, drilled on some uh, adjacent teeth that we weren't turning in, and then once they said go, I don't know why, my hand just started shaking, and I, I just feel like nerves got to me, and I had to take a couple seconds and just relax and tell myself I've done this um, like 30 times, and it's nothing different than any uh, practice session that I've done, and that worked. I breathe and got my nerves under control drilled for about three hours it took me in total i took a couple breaks went to the bathroom um started texting people and uh came back and finished drilling and i will find out monday what i got but i was really happy with how they turned out so i'm excited to have practical number one down now i'm on my way to the gym it's my favorite way to celebrate and then i actually don't have school tomorrow because the Rest of the OSU campus is on fall break. We do not get a fall break, but my uh, one class that I have on Fridays, which is anatomy, is canceled. So I will, I'm starting my weekend right now, and I'm pretty excited, except for next week I have three tests again, so it's gonna be a lot of studying. Okay, just headed to the gym. One, don't really mind the homeless look I have going on right here. It's just been a while since I've shaved. I've had a lot of studying to do, a lot of drilling. 
And two, I was gonna tell you guys, one of my fitness goals that I have before the end of 2017, which is crazy that we're actually talking about the end of 2017, I feel like it just started, but I'm going to add, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gain 10 pounds, basically is what I'm gonna do. It's definitely not gonna be muscle, you can't gain 10 pounds of muscle that fast, but <clears throat> I weigh about 175 right now. I want to jump up to 185 and see how that affects all of my lifts. See if I can um, go up and weight a little bit faster, if I weigh a little bit more. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. I'm not gonna do it, What I'm not gonna do what they call a dirty bulk, so where you just eat everything in sight. Um, I don't like Twinkies, I don't like Little Debbies, nothing like that. I'm gonna still eat healthy, I'm just gonna eat more healthy food than I normally would. So if I start looking a little bit large in the face area that's definitely why just trying to get some weight on there trying to gain some size beach season is over so there's no more suns out guns out which is unfortunate but it's a good time to put on a little bit of size all right guys headed into i actually don't have class on friday like i told you but um there's a review for oral anatomy which i have a really big quiz on monday and then a test for on tuesday and I'm just walking to class, it's a beautiful day out, and we got the OSU band practicing right there. I'm sure you can hear them, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go study for um, about 45 minutes before the review starts, have an hour review, and then head to the gym. Should be a pretty good Friday. They're so good. The best damn band in the land. It is Friday night, and I don't know where the time goes. Another week is over. I can't stop time, can't make it, I can't slow it down. It's just flying by. The semester's already halfway over, which is crazy to think about. I feel like I just got here. Things still feel new to me. But after the review session um, earlier this morning, I didn't really do anything. I worked out, and that was about it, so I feel kind of bad. Um, so I'm in the lab, it's 9.15 right now, just trying to get some studying. I had to get out of my apartment because there were just too many distractions and I couldn't get anything anything done. So I'm gonna spend uh, maybe just like an hour here looking over some teeth, trying to get ready for the quiz on Monday, test on Tuesday. And I'm just glad that I could get a video out. I feel like I, I feel bad for not making videos the past couple of weeks but um, hopefully next week I can stay on top of things a little bit more. Thanks for watching. Uh, like the video, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat, do all those social media things, and I will see you guys in the next one. My weakness comes and goes.